That was like here we go. Into the wild five ten like, spicy like cash game continues. It's yeah. often a five ten twenty game. Uh, like so it is I right now. We do have a straddle on the button. And so I processed them out. And that is why a young hue uh, in the small blind is first to act, and he is limping. He's doing a lot of limping out of the blinds in his button straddle pots. A lot of We've uh, already talked about this in previous episodes, how that, that might just be a, a leaking money strategy. I don't think he's played this format like before, my, uh, perhaps. Uh, perhaps. Or it's just his strategy uh, is uh, not up to snuff. I'd say he's he's lost every pot he's limped so far in this spot. Here's Mustache with a nice, sizable raise with the ace-9 off. Unfortunately for him, Kevin's on his left, so he doesn't like getting called with ace-9 oh. off, but happens to be way ahead. Young Hugh. Young Hugh's going to call. So now Snuggy's going to fold wow. the better hand than Mustache. That worked out pretty great. Wow. Snuggy just raised it himself. Mustache probably just folds. Yep. But, well, Mustache does flop a nine. That should help a little bit. Kevin's got the backdoor flush draw and the gutter <laughs> the nuts. Well, it's not the nuts, but the near nuts. And he just folds, it looks like. That is a bit unkevin like Kevin used to call always in these spots, but... Good for him. I had a pair. He's probably fold there for 300. Oh, Young Hugh lets it go too. Mustache, whose name is quite up. apt. If you've had the chance to see his mustache when he's briefly taken his mask off in previous episodes, you'll see that he's basically auditioning for the reboot of Blue Bloods. It's going to happen in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> if you see the mask that he's wearing right now, even like it looks like it's you know got one of those wire frames. No, that's not wire. Buddy. That's just that's just hair. Bristling, pushing out, trying to free itself because there's so much of it. It's a forest of hair. Now you're getting a little too intense. Yeah, it's a little. Bit. If I were mustache, I would not feel comfortable. I don't care about girls. The way you just said that. I mean, that, that, how many times have I heard that sentence in my life? So many. <laughs> Young Hugh with the straddle, and here we go. My wife would come sweaty. It's fine. Oh. Snuggy's going to limp the jack nine off. I think he's a little tilty. He did lose aces against kings in a massive pot in the last episode. And what do you know? Kevin finally has a real hand. It happens every once in a while. Looks like he even call. I think he's tilty. I think he's going to call. It looks I mean, like it. He limped, call, he limped fold the ace jack. It was for more money. Yeah. But it was a much better hand. Like well, a much better hand. Had worse reverse implied odds? I don't know. Yeah. That's a good flop for Kevin's tens against the Jack Nine with no hearts. It sure is. I mean, Snuggy's got overs in the gutter, but and Kevin just checks it back. Check. Snuggy knows not to bluff Kevin. He is correct. I, the board may be scary, but it's never going to work. Check. No, he never tries. Interesting that Kevin has not bet yet. Now he's going to go for a little bit of tiny, tiny doubt. No, he no, he's checked the back. Just didn't like that board at any point. Really interesting check on the flop by Kevin. I know a lot of players will check there, but like Kevin is not a guy who I thought was a candidate to check back that flop. Yeah. Interesting. Especially with the heart in his hand. Interesting play. Yeah. How come you guys don't pressure me to straddle? I mean, Snuggy got on. some free shots Straddle. at an eight or a jack. There you go. Don't be a <laughs> Fun time. <Come> on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we know. Do not have a straddle. <laughs> Real man would straddle here, Will. Uh -huh. oh. oh, everyone's yeah. doing it. Looks like there's no button straddle Definitely. this time. Real man, not Wheel no, declines not. his option. Anyone who can go smoke a spleefy on the brain <laughs> would straddle. <laughs> Pull. Kevin's in 100% VPIP mode. He has an almost callable hand there. Oh, almost. Fold. If we're suited, it would Fold. still be questionable. Ding, ding. Heads up. Well, mustache checks. Kevin just checks it right back. Interesting. Yeah, you'd expect Kevin would be taking a shot there a lot of the time. Kevin used to take shots on every check spot. There he goes. And he just gets to win. What a feeling. $45 to win the pot, too. That's great. 45 to win 95? Yeah. Magic. Sign me up for that. Yeah. All day. All diggity day long. Diggity. Yeah. No diggity. It's a good song. Who sings it? I don't know. Okay. We won't spend time on that. Please, let's not. Destiny's Child? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Salt and Pepper? 
20 no. Go. All right, that's the, the end of my guesses. Who are the ones who sing Scrub? Isn't no diggity? Who sings I Don't Want No Scrub? TLC. TLC? Yeah. False. Could be them. No, it's a male voice, dude. False. False. What? Anyway, Band Teachers False. Got Kings. Let's focus on that. I think it is. Slanky Limps again. I think it's females. I'm hey. just going nuts, maybe. I don't know. I think you're going nuts. Slanky ain't going to fold the guess. False. Probably regretting that ace jack fold since he's calling with False. these False. way worse hands. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Although he would have lost that hand with the ace jack if he had called. Yeah. What if he had raised it? <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. want it, but whatever. Snuggy, well, he flops a gutter. I actually kind of like this as a check race. Yep. He's got the gut shot. He can rep a nine pretty easily. He blocks 10-9. Although Band Teacher might not be a guy who's ever folding. We've seen him be very sticky in a lot of situations. I mean, if he had a hand like this, he's not going to fold, right? But he'd fold ace-queen. Probably. But his hat does say NGNF, which yeah. means no gamble, no future. Right so I'm how hot. can you bluff that guy? Oh, I mean, you know, one of the characteristics of a good no limit player is you're hard to bluff, I think, unless you're up against guys who never bluff. You know? Sure. Uh, he's gonna be sad. Looks like we're moving into a bomb pot situation here, people. Situation developing. We've been doing Omaha. Looks like we're still doing Omaha. Whoa, those graphics came out fast. Is it all too fast for you? It was a little too fast. <laughs> you get a little sick to your stomach? I don't know. I feel like I was in a plane that, you know, the oxygen masks oh, fell down, you know, and I'm confused and upset. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot of brilliant Omaha hands. We got a queen, ten, six rainbow board. And we have a queen, ten, and six all in band teacher's hand as well. Huh. Not so bad. Ace, jack, nine. For Dan Ross has a little bit going on with the board. Uh, yeah, no, open ender. Kevin's got backdoor flush draws and the front door straight draw. Uh, he's going to stick around for 50. Not crazy. The five of hearts comes. That gives Dan Ross more outs. And he hits the five and picks up the hearts. Yep. He probably wouldn't know if trips would be good if he hit a five. <coughs> but he'd probably would. feel obligated to call, right? Yeah. Unless I guess Bandy could go crazy out with the bet, but seeing Bandy's hand, we know he's not gonna the five pairs. He's not gonna go nuts. This is a bit of an uncomfortable spot for Dan Ross, as we can see. His hand is in decent shape against these hands, but he, there's types of hands that he could be yeah. against that would have him in jail. Yeah, he he knows that that the heart may not be a good card for him, right? Like that that could just put him in a spot where. He just loses more money. The reverse implied odds are problematic. Not here, though. And there is the heart, but it's a full house for band teacher. That's unlucky. Will Dan call a big bet? I It's a, it's a close spot. Is it a big bet? How much is it? Is it 300 something maybe? 420. It's pretty mm. big. Two thirds of the pot. It's a really close spot. You shouldn't be able to beat any value here. No. And Dan Ross gets away. Oh, got there. That's uh, that's the type of fold that a winning player makes. You know, yep. it, that type of thing can be the difference between a winning year and a losing year. Those marginal spots like that. Absolutely. If you're making the right decisions. I mean, he just saved himself four hundred and twenty dollars. You know, if he's able to make that fold once a week, even yeah. a fold of that of that caliber where he's right, which I would guess that's true for Dan Ross, right? Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's a pro player. That adds up really fast. You know, that's like. $24,000 worth of folds or something like that. Just that alone. You can make that fold. That's a big time fold, though. Like, it's hard psychologically to get there Yeah. and then fold. But that's part of being a pro, right? Is yes. you don't let the psychological elements affect you as much as it affects the amateurs. <laughs> I think not only am I impressed that he was able to fold, I'm impressed that he was able to fold pretty much without pain. Yeah. Just like, yeah, this isn't good enough. The board paired. I can't really beat anything. Bandy bet three times. I'm losing. It's not really the same thing. I'm more of a tournament player, player than a cash player, but I feel like that's when, you know, poker was open and the world was open. That's how it began being so for me when I was a tournament pro losing tournaments. Like, oh, yeah, $1,500 tournament, just bricked it, whatever, moving on. You know, like mm -hmm. it, it just takes experience. Yeah. Oh, King Jack, super yeah. light. He knows that's not that was way lighter than your call. <laughs> when Bandy bets. A significant amount. Anyway, 6-5 uh, like deuce so rainbow. That was very that was like Kevin's got a gutter. And Kevin's going to bet it. King no kicker. 60. Check, check, 60. Probably going to take it down. I'm believing he's going to take it down. 
He has taken I it down. I forgot about that Thank you for reminding me, Ben. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That is such a long cool. bandana. Yeah. Yeah. Who needs a bandana beard. that long? Kevin does. Kevin does. His beard? No, is, is it because like his beard is filling it out? Really his face is yeah, actually that long. It's a chin. It's a chin thing. He's related to Jay Leno. Keith what? Jay Leno aspires to have a chin. Tyreek Hill. As long as Kevin's. Seven? Fuck, I need to text Interesting thing about Jay Leno and Kevin uh, as a uh, nephew and an uncle, mm -hmm. they're really disappointed in each other at the same time. Huh. Now, why is Kevin disappointed in Jay Leno? That's my question. He thinks classic cars are for boobs. Yeah. Like, couldn't you have couldn't you have held on to that job a little longer too? Like, how long? I mean, like. And uh, and uh, honestly, nobody actually thinks you're funny, right? Like. The Illuminati must be giving you all these jobs because who the hell wants to watch Jay Leno do anything? Is that why we keep having to pause the action every two That's what Kevin says. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, the young... He no, someone else is in this pot with Snuggy. It's Kevin. So Brian's the and now we know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah, we want Grant back. Stop. Ooh. Bad flop for Kevin, although he does have a spade, so but it's not a good spade. It's sort of one of the worst possible flops. Right and now. somehow it goes check, check. Wow. These guys are really not betting into each other very much. Brian's like the Monica it's Lewinsky weird. Of Portland I mean, I, I assume <laughs> Snuggy's probably going to end up getting two streets of value here. We see he calls. Safe card. Snuggy bets. I, I assume Kevin's just going to call this. Exactly. Yeah. Call. Seriously? Kevin can't really beat anything on the river. I know he's got the nine of spades, but... So no. be able to beat so yeah, two pairs good. Two pair. I think it's a call though. I think it's mostly a call. Just it's too good of a hand to fold most of the time. Right, I mean, the in theory, yeah, but in practice, like Snuggy so called the turn and there were four spades on the board. Yeah, and yeah. And then he bet the river. Like what can he call? I guess, the especially considering the how these guys have been playing against each other. Yeah. I guess. I mean, Snuggy has to have like a set, but how could I, he has two pair that he's turning to a bluff? Would he feel the need to do that? No, you're right. Range? You're right. From a, I was I was just going down drilling down to like pure GTO stuff. Sure. Nice. Oh, absolutely. Oh. If Fetter Holtz is sitting there, you know, fine. Damn. Snap. Yeah. Snap called the nice face. Snap. Snap. <laughs> Maybe. What color would you say Band you Teacher's shirt is? Chartreuse, perhaps? <laughs> no. Come on. What is chartreuse? <laughs> I know you can do it. But what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a greenish. Back Yellow. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got tens against Ace King so far, and we whoa. Okay. Young Yu just raised a two hundred dollars on the off the twenty dollars straddle, and yeah, that's wheel a, flatted that's a the Ace King. That's a ten x. I don't actually mind the flat by wheel. I'm okay with it. It's an unusual flat. Maybe maybe the sizing was wrong because we're going back here. Oh, okay. That would be better. It I think like it was 100, 100 yeah, <laughs> which is still 5x, but that's, that's a lot fine. more in the normal realm. I'm surprised wheels flatting anyway, though. I don't hate it positionally. Yeah, that's fair. What a flop for wheel. Nice and easy. Bidding everything but two hands. Young Hugh going to bet uh, 200. I don't see the purpose of betting so big if you're going to bet this board. Agreed. This is made for a small better a check. Yeah. yeah. Ben, you said you were living out in Oregon You're folding out nines, uh, uh, and you might be getting called by jacks you sometimes. You Maybe you fold out jacks. Maybe you get, yeah, when you bet this much, you might fold out jacks, but is that really what we're targeting? Yeah. Is that what we think Wheel yeah, has? Well, Wheel's probably sad by this card. Oh, yeah. He thinks now they're chopping, but they're not. So... <laughs> Young Yu, I guess, can but still yeah. be diamond. He's going to bluff. Ooh, this is this is a... I don't know about he's bluffing. Bluff. He's not bluffing. He's betting to charge diamonds. No, come on, really? How can he be What's he bluffing? What, what, hands is he blu what hands is he trying to bluff? I don't know if he's thought it through. <laughs> so then how can you say he's bluffing? Bluffing takes intention. There's the all-in by wheel, which is, I think, also a huge uh, That's mistake. a massive mistake by wheel. It's a clear just call. Hugh is, Hugh is, I keep calling Hugh, Hugh is folding a five here when you move in. <laughs> yeah. You have to just call and pray he bluffs again or decides to call the river. You've been listening to Huey Lewis in the news a lot or something? I was watching the boys and one of the, one of the main guys is called Huey. Nothing young Hugh can do now. Well, I, that's not true. I guess he could decide to call, but that would be absurd. I mean, maybe he's trying to charge diamonds. I just think it's, he was just betting because he wanted to win the hand and didn't think about it. Yeah. I'd, okay. Yeah. 
I mean, fine, but then I just don't get the bet, I guess. No, I mean, I don't like the bet either. Yeah. Like when the board like pairs there. You can check call because like diamonds might fluff that, but you can't. But you should bet probably yourself. check fold against wheel. Yep, I think you're right. Gone, gone, gone. And actually, against most players. Yep. yep. When you're under the gun, plus one, it's yeah, called you, and that's the board. I think you you're right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, king, queen, diamonds might bluff you out once in a while, but that even has pretty good equity against you. See, that's kind of the opposite of the Dan Ross fold there, is just one bet, but if Young Hugh is making bets like that over time, that really adds up. Yeah, also his sizing on the flop was, like, as we were saying, way too big, and like, that's going to cost him over time, too. Yeah. Like, if Dan Ross is betting $90 there and Hugh's betting 200 and they have the same value in terms of what, what's going to happen from it, you know, that's like... Dan's just going to make an extra $110 or hold on to an extra $110 once in a while, you know, and that's really going to add up. It's not entirely fair to like compare someone who is you know, a pro versus yeah. someone who isn't. But you know, we're just, no, just, we're just for the we're talking for the purposes of education. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The, I think it's important to to often reiterate how how big of a deal marginal decisions in poker are over right. time. Yeah, something like sizing, which I think people will be like, I'm just going to bet a lot. Yeah, really. There's more to it than that. Here's mustache with top pair, the outflops band teacher. And he bets 200 into but 220. The they talk over everything. So it feels like a little big as well on this rainbow board. Well, he's going for that Tom Selleck roll, so he's got to be bold. <laughs> We return. <laughs> yes, yeah, like definitely. the wombat, <laughs> or the dark knight, yeah. or the cricket. The cricket every night. The crickets come back. Not every night. Every yeah. single night. They make that sound. Do that cricket sound. Make that cricket sound, Grant. Nice job. He's really good at animal sounds, yeah. especially insects. Yeah. Give me another one. Uh, Make a mole sound. That's <laughs> really good. <laughs> Young Hugh with the uh, King Ten of Diamonds doesn't know it's on him because <laughs> we do have. Is he going to raise it up here? No pets even. No, he's not. Pets? Okay. No, he oh, is. He is. One twenty. See, this this is also a little bit problematic. So he's completing all his weak hands and he's raising all his medium strength to stronger hands. And he's in the worst position at the table. Yeah, like you gotta you gotta disguise it all a little bit. Better. However, he might get called by. Oh my goodness, Ben Teacher this. is off the rails. Never mind. You can do anything you want, Ben Teacher. gonna call you with eight. At this point, that shirt is chartreuse for sure. <laughs> Teal. Not teal. Everybody misses. The teacher has two back doors. Did Young Hu just basically say I'm giving you the pot? Yep. When with the way he checked there, did he mean it? I, I believe he did. Can't really continue. That was that Band was a teacher, bit. Oh, heartbreaking. <laughs> Band teacher just rubs it in oh. Young Hu's face. Wait till he's old Hugh before you. Do yeah, that. come on. Wow. Let him have a few more years of life. At least just Hugh. <laughs> That was a bit odd by Young Hugh there. Do you think he's just feeling like he's having a bad session, kind of giving up? Like he legitimately was just saying, like, I, I give up with this check. He actually showed Band Teacher that he was giving up. Um, I mean, there may be been other reasons why he did that, the check that way, right? But it did seem like that. Like, it may have been like, you know, like he wanted to make sure Band Teacher could see him, behind, I don't know, for whatever reason, because they're sitting next to each other or something. Yeah, could be. But it did look like he was done with the hand right away. And credit to Band Teacher, he, he took it. Credit bit to Band Teacher, he called with eight deuce preflop. <laughs> well, at least if you're going to call with eight deuce preflop, when they checked you, you should bet most of the time, right? Speaking of betting, Wonka's finally got a hand. It's been a while. Snuggy has just a little something, something. He's got the perfect hand against Kings. The Ducks. With his code finger. Yeah, well, it was he makes the code slow motion call. He, he was trying to, I think yeah, he was trying to mimic like Wonka's, like the way Wonka puts the chips yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then he, it's like yeah, a, Kevin's going to call with seven three of diamonds. Like he's <laughs> and Young Hugh is going to call. And Wonka's in pretty good shape here. Yeah, four ways. Young Hugh with a great price on the button there. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh. 55% equity, four ways. Pretty strong. I know you guys have never seen it before. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pretty dude. wet flop, although Wonka's still in the lead. It sort of sucks when you're four ways, but you don't really want to give the whole world a free card either. You get raised, you just yeah. got to give it up, though. So I guess Wonka decided it's better to try to see what they do here. Everyone checking has got to make him feel a lot better. Everyone acted behind Ooh, him. That's a terrible does card. not like that card, even though he's still ahead somehow. He is, but now uh, Young Hugh picks up more outs. But no one. W this is nice for Wonka that people are not bluffing. And, and there's the set for Snuggy on the river. Oh, yeah, but it's not a very comfortable set, obviously. Like I think Snuggy will check. Yep. Yeah. And so probably no one's going to take a shot at this. And Wonka's going to be surprised check. by the hand that beats him. What the deuces? That board just froze all the action. <laughs> it's not crazy by Wonka to just be like, I this board was bad for the flop, and it got worse on the turn, and I'm just not putting. It's pretty head. tough to be in a good equity spot. Four ways with two black kings on that flop. Yeah, river. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. I, will I mean, he could have he could have had the flop straddle. just to like clear out the you know the the riffraff and see where he's at well, a little bit, but you know, just not to give a free wheel, card. So but it's totally reasonable to check. Like that. I hear a straddle is on the button. Grant. <laughs> extra, extra. <laughs> oh, They're saying it wrong. It's extra, extra. Why would they say that? Because they were like. News newsies oh, and they uh, that's not a reason they spoke that way. No, that are you saying they're like a, a subcategory of person that has a different way of speaking? <laughs> saying newsies in the twenties that extra extra read all about it. I'm pretty sure they said extra. No 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 that's what they said later on <laughs> as fine. <laughs> newsies didn't exist past the twenties. Newsies yeah but other but people on newsstands said things. And they said extra extra but no newsies said extra extra. How many just the kid newsies because the kid newsies like didn't really know how to speak well. How many how many seven part podcast series have you listened to about <laughs> the war between Pulitzer and Hearst? Just one. Yeah me too. Um, <laughs> I will say this. Um, Newsies, yes, are a subspecies, <laughs> <laughs> but they are still above carnies. Ah, and everyone okay. knows that, right? Oh, that's that's a that's a great thing to do. What you just did there, you, you take a group of people that no longer exists and lift them up above a group of people that does exist and might be listening. Yeah, well yeah. done, well it's done. They know who they are. <laughs> Got an Omaha bomb pie here. Sounds <laughs> good. I'm ready for some blood. I'm just rooting for someone to get hurt. I don't care who anymore. <laughs> that's that's kind of messed up. Yeah, I know. Couple nines on this board. Nine, nine, six, and band rainbow. teacher has quads. He's got it locked wow. up on the flop. Does anybody else have anything? I mean, band teacher has a six in his hand, which isn't great. Kevin has a six in his hand. There's and so does mustache. Is there a 7 8 out there? There's an 8 10, and, and it's Jack 10, which can it's be like, like a backdoor seven, bigger 20. straight draw. Looks like Kevin is betting. Band teacher has, I mean, what's he going to do but call here, right? There's just no other move. You you put in a raise later. And Young Yu like is Young raising Hugh. with Jacks. So okay. This is Band teacher, I hope, just finds a call here. I mean, having a 6 in your hand makes it a little easier to just call because there's yeah. only one combo of full house out there. Kevin can't call. Somehow there's only one combo of any other made hand besides band teachers from band teacher's perspective. That's pretty yeah. that's pretty whack. So he does he does call it. Can Young Hugh possibly put more money in this pot? I guess he could be beating seven eight here. I hope he got a little worried and slowed down. Let's like, find let's out. Because we know band teachers checking. Well, Young Hugh picks up the nut flush draw. E, this could be hurty. It's very reasonable, but he knows uh, maybe that don't, makes it easier. Don't bring a heart. Oh, oh no. Wow. Well and band teacher blind bet without seeing the river. Will Young Hugh raise? I hope not. He might. He's raising. Yeah. And that is music to band teacher's ears. I mean, that's, this is the end of it. There's no well, I shouldn't say that. Young Hugh's got the nut flush and he has been pretty pretty stationary. He's only got four forty five back. He did make one there's the re raise and Young Hugh should know he can't beat anything. He can't beat anything. It's the price is obviously great, great. but that doesn't matter at this point. This is a horrible, horrible spot, but he should be able to find. And he looks like he does get away from it. Wait. Yeah, he gets away from it. Then teacher just shows the quad. Two pairs, same pair. That well, is. I'll, I'll give Young Hugh credit for keeping the 445. Yeah. A lot of players are going to lose that because they've already put in so much. Right, right. Which is getting locked into the wrong type of math there. Yep. Like, it, it's. 
It's not the turn. There's no draw. The the price doesn't matter when you definitely are losing. Yep. And he figured that out. So I give him a lot of credit for like, you know, you got the nut flush, you're getting a great price. You've already put in a lot of money. A lot of players are gonna lose that. That's and a pretty, really, really does. Pretty crappy run out for Young Hugh there. There goes Hart Hart. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's like. He did not have to raise the flop, though. He did not have to raise the flop. <laughs> he could have just called the flop. He did not have to raise the river either. Yeah, that's true. Raising the river at least makes a little bit of sense, but I worry that we're not getting called by anything <laughs> worse. Yeah. Like the king I flush might fold when we raise the river, right? On that board. Yep. I think it does. But I guess band teacher bet yeah, bl bl dark, which yeah. sort of messes it up a little bit. But still. <laughs> 60. Fold, fold. 60. Anyway. And so... Fold. Kevin raising Fold. up the eight six off Fold. because you know Kevin why not? time it's Kevin time. It's the battle of the short stacks here. Uh, Good flop for Young Hugh. <laughs> yeah, but Kevin is already Real slowing down. That's bad news for Young Hugh. Oof. A five would be dreamy. Kevin's now gonna bet just ninety dollars. Young Hugh so 90? short, removing in completely reasonable. Yeah, but it is Kevin. You might want to give him a shot yeah. to bluff again. We're just going to have to call all rivers. Against yeah, even if it's a club. Yep. But it looks like Young Hugh has raised, and yeah. that should be the end of things. Raising this small with that much back is really suspect. I got to tell you. That's quite sus, as the kids would say. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they say oh. that. Right? In Among Us. Is that a Generation A thing? It's an Among Us thing. <laughs> you want Generation A? It's <laughs> after <laughs> Generation <laughs> Z. My bad. Back. Is that really true? No, I just made that up. Yeah, I was going to say, shouldn't it be like Generation 2 or something? What? <laughs> why would it be two? You go to numbers. You go to digits after after letters. So why wouldn't you start with one? Because one is yeah, like dumb, and no. they're not number one. That'd be crazy to just say they're number one. You can't call them zero either. They're gonna be offended and cry. So you start with two. You know what? That just looks clean. You got me. <laughs> right on. Anthropology 101. Yeah. You have to you have to know your history. Thanks for getting my back for sure. Anyway, Kevin's gonna. Uh, Looks like he's going to complete from the small blind because we do have a button straddle. With the three deuce off, just to be clear. No, he's completing from under the gun. We don't oh, have a button straddle. I'm sorry. He's limping from under the gun. Yeah. With the three deuce off. Yeah. Still the three deuce off. That hasn't changed, though, right? No, that's still that. <laughs> that feels like the more relevant piece of information. Yes. Snuggy's coming along with queens. Did, did the Texans I'm getting word from Esmeralda that this is the last half yes. of the episode. Really? So fast. Three more minutes, six minutes. But yes, this is uh, what I'm told as well. Kevin, of course, sticks around and can't like that flop. It's not really a good flop for anybody's hand. Snuggy, of course, has the best of it, but doesn't love the flop. Doesn't love it, but doesn't hate it now that it checked through. That's not a great card for anyone except Dan Ross. That's a, it is a great card for Dan Ross. Yeah. So you, you I said except for Dan Ross. Yeah. What part of that did you miss? Well, it's, it's just you were cleaning up stuff. You're cleaning up stuff. Okay, and here's the river. <laughs> It's a queen. All right. So that's a nice, easy win for Snuggy. The question is, does Dan Ross put in a bluff? No, well, Snuggy's, Snuggy's gonna just going to go for it. It's un it's understandable for him to bet here in case Dan Ross actually has something. 150. Although, what is Dan Ross checking back that he, you know, like he would have bet a nine probably, right? He could have an eight maybe. He'd be betting an eight anyway. You don't have to bet it yourself. He's going to bet an eight. Yeah. A seven. Two sixes. Are you going to get calls by those? Are those going to call anyway? I wonder what Dan's thinking about. He's got the card in his hand that Snuggy would have. That would be a bluff. I mean, he could be thinking about raising. That would be the thing to think about. Yeah. That's reasonable. That must be what he's thinking about. Yeah, he can't be thinking about calling with this hand. I'm, I mean, yeah, Snuggy would have to have a 10, just a, a sort of a, a loose 10, like, but like King 10. But you block King 10. So hard to come, uh, hard to come up with too much. You yep. call the raise. It's like king ten or nothing, and you block it. He calls. Wow! Holy moly! That McGullies. is surprising. I am surprised by that call, and uh, we'll take that wow. bewilderment with us on this little interlude between this and the next episode. We'll see you next week for some more poker time. We'll see you then. Wow! I'm really gonna think on that one. <laughs> Thank you.